Hi all and welcome back to another edition of the Ticket to Ride South Africa and Mozambique video blog for 2011. We're at stop number 8 right now and that is Belito on the north coast of KwaZulu-Natal. And uh, yeah, you're with me Bevan and just give you a quick update on how things have been going. The past few days have been pretty much uh, focused around the coursework which is what we've been anticipating from the start of kind of what the whole trip's been building up to um, here in, on the KZN coast. And that's pretty much our lifeguarding course and today the guys started on their surf coaching course. So it's been a lot of work with Dion Woodley out of the Lifeguard Academy as we saw in a few previous editions. That course has continued on and uh, as I've just mentioned today we start with the surf coaching course with Chris Bond from Trip One who's come along to um, instruct in that course. And uh, so yeah, it's been a lot of work, uh, business end of the trip as we like to call it. But um, we've not done all work and you'll be stoked to know we've had some amazing waves coming into Durban, especially in the last week. A lot of east swell came through into the bay, which uh, Durban does enjoy. And when Durban is enjoying good waves, well, we're out there enjoying it as well for sure. So a lot of coursework during the day, afternoon surfs, morning surfs, um, kind of been the order of the day for the past week or so. And they're just a lot of fun. Um, our time out in Anstey's was really, really good. Uh, Anstey's is one of my favorite spots, it's a bit of a local wave, I don't live too far away. So um, being back in the area is always good and kind of taking the guys around your local spots is a lot of fun. Uh, our backpackers was right on the beach, so it was literally just a case of look, you pop your head out the window, see if there's a wave. If there's a wave, your boardies are on, your board's under your arm and off you go and you know, surf for an hour or so and come back have some dinner. And, uh, yeah, it was just a really great place to be set up. Of course, uh, the bluff tended to be a little bit more fussy when it came to conditions. Uh, it doesn't really enjoy much wind. Uh, any kind of gust that gets on it, it gets a little bit moody. So we head into the bay quite a bit of time. Uh, really nice actually. A lot southwest is very good in, in Durban, very offshore. So when we weren't getting the great waves on the bluff, it was always into town where it was a little bit more groomed, a little bit cleaner. Uh, oftentimes a little bit smaller, which our guys prefer, especially when there's a lot of swell. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Pretty much a lot of fun. Okay, <laughs> wait, let me just quickly ask you guys about you. How's this course going? It's going pretty well. We just had our uh, sort of lecture by Chris. And yeah, it was pretty good. He told us all about surfing and what we've done. And we've done that stupid uh, question answer thing. That's very true, very true. We got to look at some pictures of people bailing and why they're bailing, which is pretty good. Pretty funny to see them like just falling on their face or like trying to stand on their board with it like this in front of them. And they're like, oh, on one foot. Ridiculous. So that reminded us a lot of... Just like what I do Yeah, Jesse surfing. You know, yeah. surfing. It, it yeah. also opened a new dimension because you can kind of see what Bevan and Byron have to do for us every single day. Yeah. My son oh, to be you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it sort of opened my eyes of what I want to do in my life. And that's the, <laughs> the yeah, I mean, professional dancer. <laughs> we good? Okay, how's, the, how's your course going? How's the new course? Oh, the surf instructing course. That's it, John. Yeah, it's looking really good. We've just gone through the um, course outline, what we're going to be learning. It looks really interesting, actually. Um, I'm looking forward to hopefully surf instructing back in formal. Oh, nice, man. Nice. Yeah. Shot top. Um, let's see, what can I ask you? Hmm? What can I ask you? How was the surfing in Durban? Surfing in Durban? Yeah, to start off um, the bluff where we're staying at Anstey. Amazing morning surf. So fun, so clean, and then the, um, no surface out. So you sit there by yourself, just wait for good waves and don't just catch all of them. Um, then we're up in New Pib. Really fun seeing all the great surfers. You get a bit intimidated by them, but it's worth going out just to be around them and see how they work and then try to catch some waves from now and then. But yeah, by far the best surf so far. Last one. Shot, shot. <laughs> Alright, do you know what's been your favourite part about Durban? Uh, my favourite part of Durban is the warm water. Warm water? <laughs> and the waves? Good. Okay, so warm water and good waves. Of course. <laughs> Alright, cool. Okay. The Jesse Challenge is a daily challenge that happens every two weeks or so. Yeah. <laughs> wide, wide range of, of challenges, you know, whatever, whatever anyone's feeling, whether it be 
putting a lot of grapes in your mouth or <laughs> running in circles. I don't know. What has been your favorite Jesse challenge? Oh, uh, Paso Innocent Fam. bystander. <laughs> I was too lucky. My Paso favorite is the burger. The burger. Yeah, the that, burger. Was, that was... Please, please elaborate on it. Well, he had to eat a burger in one bite and it was pretty... How many bites? <laughs> well, he got it in two. I got it in two. He got it in two. That was a bit of a disappointment. But it, it was good because he started choking. Yeah. And for a moment, we thought he was going to die. But it was very amusing. No one would help me. <laughs> no one would help him because it was very funny. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> okay. See you later. And uh, that's pretty much about it, to be honest. Um, I wish I had a lot more to report. It, it kind of sounds like we've not been doing much, but surfing and uh, courses. But wow, there's been so much surf <laughs> that there's been little time to do much else, really. Just kind of whatever energy you have left from your lifeguard and go straight into surfing. When you get home, you're so pooped, you, you can't really lift your arms, let alone get about and do much else. So wake up in the morning, surf got courses during the day, afternoon surf, eat sleep. It's been that simple. So uh, let me just quickly wrap it up I guess. Um, thank you for watching again. This is uh, the last stop of our South African trip and kind of well, where I step off um, as soon as the guys go to Mozambique. So last few days unfortunately for myself and for one or two of the guys on the group. Um, but yeah, just really looking forward to the last 10 days on tour. It's going to be a lot of fun, especially once the courses are over and there's no more work to be done. Um, it's going to be great just to relax and surf and, yeah, really good place to reflect, I guess. Think back on the times. I mean, we were mentioning the other day, just looking back at Cape Town. How long ago does that seem? Uh, and everything that's happened in between. So it's going to be some good times and uh, really looking forward to it. So until then, I hope you guys are all well back wherever you are watching this. And uh, do join me again next time, which will probably be the last video blog that I present to all of you, uh, sadly. But uh, yeah, do take care and join me again one more time. Goodbye.